Are you tired of playing the same old games? Don't worry, I've played a bunch and picked the absolute best 15 survival games for your phone. Whether you're into crafting, exploring, or just surviving, I've got you covered. Without further ado, let's start with Countdown. Number 15. In Radiation Island, you are one of the survivors of the experiment, and you have to find a way to get back to your own world. But first, you have to survive the dangers of the island, which include radiation, zombies, wild animals, and other players. Radiation Island has a lot of depth, variety, and challenge, and it is also free to download and play with some optional in-app purchases. Number 14. <laughs> Last Pirate Survival Island is a game where you start as a castaway on a deserted island. It's fun to begin with, exploring the island, gathering resources, and building a shelter. But after a while, the game gets repetitive. Also, the enemies, like zombies and skeletons, are pretty easy to defeat. I think the game could be better with more variety, maybe different islands to explore, or more interesting things to do. Number 13. Donlins offers a charming blend of open-world exploration and creative building mechanics. The game's vibrant world invites you to gather resources, craft tools and structures, and uncover its secrets. If you're looking for a chill game where you can build stuff and hang out with your friends in a colorful world, Donlins is definitely worth checking out. Number 12. After that day is a game where you try to survive after a big disaster. You need to find food, water, and build a place to stay. It's hard at first, but it's fun to learn new things. However, the game gets repetitive quickly. Once you've gathered the basics, there isn't much else to do besides searching for more stuff or fighting zombies. It's a decent survival game to pass the time. Number 11. Underwater survival like a very simplified version of Subnautica for mobile. It has the underwater exploration and survival aspects, but a lot is missing. The world feels empty compared to Subnautica's rich environments and diverse creatures. If the developers add more content, creatures, and depth to the gameplay, it could become a decent underwater survival experience. For now, it's a fun distraction for a short while. Number 10. Sailor's Odyssey is a pirate-themed adventure game that lets you explore, fight, and plunder on a mysterious island. The game's gameplay is fun and addictive, but it also has some flaws. The game is not very optimized for mid-range devices, and it can lag or crash on some phones. Overall, Sailor's Odyssey is a game that has a lot of potential, but it also needs a lot of improvement. Number 9. Amakin Survival is like a smaller version of Pal World. The game is about surviving in a world full of cute anime creatures called Amakin. You can catch, raise, and fight with them. While it might entertain you for a short time, Amakin Survival doesn't offer enough to keep players engaged for the long haul. It feels like a simplified version of a bigger game. Number 8. Ark Survival Evolved is a free-to-play mobile version of the popular PC and console game. Ark Survival Evolved is a game that challenges you to survive and thrive on a mysterious island where you start out alone and unarmed. You have to deal with 80-plus different dinosaurs and primal creatures. If you are a fan of the original game or if you love dinosaurs and survival games, you might enjoy it. Number 7. Last Island of Survival is a mobile game that wants to be like Rust. You have to find materials, build a base, and make weapons to survive. Playing with friends is definitely the best part, as you can build a base together and raid other players. But the game has some problems. It can feel like a grind to get the materials you need, and the pay-to-win aspects make it unfair for players who don't spend money. Overall, Last Island of Survival has potential, but it needs to balance things out to make it more enjoyable for all players. Number 6. 
If you love the gritty survival experience of Unturned, Obsession Erythros is like its polished, story-driven mobile cousin. It captures the same core elements, open-world exploration, resource scavenging, crafting, and a constant fight for survival against all kinds of threats. Expect a haunting atmosphere, challenging encounters, and a mystery that will drive you to explore every corner of the game's world. Number 5 Wintercraft is a survival game offline simulator set in a large open world of winter forest. You have to gather resources, build a winter house, craft weapons and tools, hunt animals and predators with bow and arrow, and explore the forest. You also have to deal with the cold and weather, which can affect your health and stamina. And if that's not enough, you also have to find your missing father, who disappeared in the forest. Wintercraft is a great game for fans of survival games and winter themes. Number 4 Crisis X is a new survival game that looks really good. The graphics and animations are amazing. I love exploring the big open world. I also like the survival part of the game. You need to find food, water, and shelter. But game optimization is bad. It lags even high-end devices and sometimes the game is a bit hard to control. I hope they can fix these things in the future. Number 3 Undawn is about surviving in a world after everything has changed. Zombies are everywhere, and you have to be brave and smart to stay alive. You find things to use, build safe places, and work with other players. The game is exciting and a little scary. You have to make good choices to survive. Undawn is for those who like adventures and challenges, and who want to see if they can make it in a tough world. Number 2 I tried Lost Future because I love zombie survival games. The graphics are alright, but the world felt kinda empty to me. It's like you're stuck in the same old places, fighting the same old zombies over and over. You know, the whole find supplies, build stuff, survive thing. If developers add new map or new missions to do, I think Lost Future will be one of the best zombie survival games for mobile. Number 1 As you may know, Once Human was recently released for PC and consoles, so I played the PC version of Once Human last week and really enjoyed it. The best thing is that Once Human will come to mobile. We don't yet have an official release date, but I've heard it'll be around September 20th. The game's open world is huge and full of things to do. I think that building your base is a fun aspect of the game. You can gather materials, create crafts, and decorate your area. It's satisfying to see your base expand. I'm excited to play the mobile version, which I believe is going to be one of the best open world survival games on mobile. Alright, that's it for our top 15 best survival games. Remember, if you enjoyed the video hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome content. If you have a survival game you think we missed, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.